Last week, I presented the findings of a project of mine called the Colorado Hyperloop to a panel of transportation experts, engineers, and business executives while at the museum in Washington, D.C. In case you don't know what exactly a Hyperloop is, it's the point-to-point -point transportation system first envisioned by Elon Musk. It theoretically could go up to 700 miles an hour, and it's a mixture of an air hockey table and a Concorde airplane and a railgun. After four years of researching and writing blog posts on what a Hyperloop might look like for Colorado, I decided to submit an application to Hyperloop One's Global Challenge. Unknown at the time, there are over 2,000 other applicants, including departments of transportation, development authorities, and national governments. Colorado is really unique. Its people are not afraid to take risks, try new things, and make the world a better place. So it was no surprise that there were two other groups that also envision a Hyperloop in Colorado. So why do this? Well, we know the popularity of Colorado, and we also know how difficult it can be to get around places. So there's a natural north-south alignment where 85% of the population of Colorado from Pueblo to Fort Collins live. What is unique about our approach is that we introduce an interdisciplinary, collaborative, and participatory approach to developing a Hyperloop in Colorado. We asked ourselves and hundreds of other Coloradans, what if we could design this project in a way that is more human-centered? To design it in a way that would help communities and not hurt them. The Hyperloop is all about connection. It is about eliminating borders and going beyond the limitations of time and space. It is meant to empower communities, and that's why we wanted to incorporate these future users. There was special interest in connecting Hyperloop with recreational areas like national parks. We used social media and surveys to gather information on how Coloradans might use the Front Range Hyperloop. And we'd like to continue this dialogue with these groups. Through these surveys, we found equal interest in the northern route from Denver to Fort Collins, as well as the southern route from Denver to Pueblo. Hyperloop construction will benefit infrastructure, energy, and technology sectors, as well as tourism and quality of life measurements. Thank you so much, Hyperloop One. Please visit coloradohyperloop.com.